All right, so the other day I put out on my uh, community page on YouTube saying, hey, basically, what kind of math problem do you want me to do to support you at? And so uh, good friend Emmett says, well, how about you do long division? So, oh, hey, <laughs> psych, don't forget it. Subscribe. You make sure you subscribe, please. We're going to take a look at this uh, 579 divided by uh, four, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna represent that on uh, with this thing with a whole bunch of dots. So do you see the 579, all right? So we've got five in the hundreds column, we've got seven in the tens column, so there's our 70, and then we've got nine in the ones column, there's our 579. Now the idea is this division thing means we're gonna, there's a variety of ways it, it could mean, but we're gonna use what's called the, the measurement or the quotative definition of division. <laughs> Don't worry about this, Emmett. All right, so, but this point is we're gonna take out groups of four. That's what divide by four means. <clears throat> Anytime we can pull out a group of four, that's what we wanna do. All right, so when it says 579 divided by four, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, do we have any uh, enough dots in the hundreds column to take out four? And yeah, we do, we got enough, there it is. We just took out one uh, group of four. So what we could do is we could say, all right, well that's, uh, well let's do it in uh, blue. That's one group of four, all right? Now, what would that look like in this standard algorithm over here on the right? Well, we would say, well, we can take out one group of four from the 500s, and when we subtract, we have one left over. In fact, on the left side, that's exactly what you end up seeing. When we had the five, hundreds when we take out one group of four that's what this one is and that's what this one is right there uh, ooh, whoa get back here get back here there we go um, and then uh, we have one dot left over all right and so there we have the one dot left over over here in the algorithm and then the idea is well do we have any more in the hundreds column do we have any more groups of four that we can make from the hundreds column? The answer is nope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cash in this one big for 10 littles. 100 is equal to 10 tens. So I'm gonna cash this in and it's gonna give me 17 tens over here. I used to have 107 tens but when I cash this in, this big is going to give me seven littles. And sure enough, I now have 17 in the tens column. So what is that gonna look like with our standard algorithm? Well, that means I'm gonna take this one right here, that caches in for 10 tens plus the seven that I already have. So I now have 17 tens. And you could see them on the left side right there. So let's, let's make our groups of four. We have one group of four. We have another group of four. We have another group of four. And we have one last group of four. Look at that, we were able to make four groups of four. Now that's using the manipulatives on the left side of the screen. What is that gonna look like on the right side of the screen in our algorithm? Well, we had 17 in the tens column. We were able to make four groups of four. And so that means we used up 16 dots and we had the one dot left over and that's what we see up here on the left side. All right. So now what are we gonna do? Well, we can't make any more fours, groups of four in the tens column. So we're gonna take that 10 and cash it in for 10 in the ones column. So we used to have nine in the ones column. We now have 19 in the ones column because we cashed an extra 10 in. 
And so what is that gonna look like on the right side of our algorithm? Well, we just kind of bring down this nine and now we have 19, oopsies, I don't wanna do that. There we go, we now have 19 in the ones column. All right, so now let's make our groups of four. So on the left side of the screen, we're gonna make our groups of four. Let's see how many groups of four we can make. We can make one, two, three, four, oh, and that's it. We can make four groups of four, and we have a remainder of three right here. So what is that gonna look like in the algorithm? Well, we can make, out of those 19 ones, we can make four groups of four, so that means we've used up 16 dots. And you'll notice we see those 16 dots on the left side, right here. That column of fours right here. We used up 16 of them. We have three little dots left over, so our remainder is three. And so now you can see it on the left side with our algorithm right here. Our left side with our algorithm, we, oops, geez Louise, what did I just do? We have right here, our algorithm on the left side, we ended up with 144 with three left over. And then on our right side of our screen, we also got 144 with three left over. And that's how the dots, the exploding dots works in terms of long division. So let's do, uh, oh, let's just do one last problem, but uh, we'll do it just with the um, dots and the algorithm using just my number, my uh, Jamboard here. Okay, so let's create a problem. Oh, let's do, uh, let's do groups of three this time. So let's divide by three. And oh, let's do 760, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, seven. 767, all right? And we're gonna divide that by three. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our hundreds, tens, and ones column and we're gonna draw in 767. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we zoom out and we see 767. And now we're gonna have to divide by three, which means we're gonna put these dots into groups of three. Well, this time, because of the fact that we're drawing them, we don't have some fancy app, we're just gonna circle groups of three. So I have one group of three, another group of three in the hundreds column. And it looks like I can only make two groups of three in the hundreds column and I have this one dot left over. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cash that dot in so he gets crossed off because I'm gonna create 10 tens with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that 100 got cashed in for 10 tens, one big, gives me 10 littles. So now we're gonna look at the tens column and see how many groups we can make. Oh, let's do it in blue this time. Let's look for groups of three. So there's a group of three. 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 And our final group of three. So it looks like we can make five groups of three and then we had this one little 10 left over. So what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna cash him in, and that's gonna give us 10 additional dots in the ones column. One, two, three, four, five. And so now we have 17, oops, yeah, yeah, 17 in our ones column, and now we're gonna make groups of three. Oh, let's do it in uh, green this time. 
So let's make our groups of three. So we have one group of three, another group of three, another group of three, another group, another group. And then we're left over with those last little two dots left over. So how many groups of three did we make? Well, it looks like we made five groups of three and we have two dots remaining. So our answer is 255. So uh, what does that look like with our long division over here? Well, we have seven dots. How many groups of three can we make with our seven dots? Uh, let's do it all in red this time. Well, we can make two groups of red, two groups of three, sorry, which means we used up six of them and we have one dot left over. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different than what your teachers typically talk about. So I'm gonna move this a lot, a lot to the side. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Give us a little bit of breathing room. And so now we're gonna say um, this extra leftover hundred. Remember that was this guy way over here. We're gonna cash him in for 10 tens. So I'm gonna cash him in and add him to the existing six. So I'm just gonna take this guy and bring him up and we now have 16 in the tens column. That's a little bit different than most teachers explain it. So now we have 16 in the tens column. How many groups of three can we make with our 16? Well, we can make five of them, which means we used up 15 which means we have one 10 left over. And if you remember, there it is right there. We had the one 10 left over. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna cash him in and give him into the ones place. So we're gonna cash him in for 10 ones. So now we have 17 ones. And those 17 ones, we can create five groups of three and we're gonna have two left over. So there is our answer, 255 with a remainder two. And of course we saw that with the picture. All right, so that was it. And I hope, Emmett, I hope that kind of works for you a little bit. I hope, I hope things uh, uh, get a little cleared out. Everybody, if you have another problem you'd like me to do, Put it in the uh, put it in the comment section down there. I'll check out. I'll check the answers and you know the comments and so and I'm happy to do more explanations uh, of how to do your math problems.